And then screen share. We can get our PowerPoint. Excuse me. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. So we wanted to welcome you to our um, intro class webinar. Uh, we feel like this is a great way to learn when maybe you couldn't get to a class or just you know um, learning where you're at and you know during the day. Just it's a great way to spend your lunch, in my opinion. <laughs> I used to spend my lunches you know, trying to learn more about all these things. So it, it, I, I love to kind of um, learn in the middle of the day versus at night or, or any time like that. So we felt like it was a good time and we're glad you're all are here. Um, it's entitled Intro Class, Learn Another Notch in Your Tool Belt of Health because we feel that um, essentials can be a very valid tool in living a healthy life, but it's definitely not the fix all. So we were kind of, you know, gonna go in a little bit more about that, but we, um, we have both benefited very much in the last three years that we have been using them and, and feel that everyone can. So we're going to um, kind of just go over the basics. Even though some of you might already use essential oils, we want you to kind of be on the same level. You know, just kind of um, give an overview, but then give some more in-depth um, things from a healthcare perspective that, that we have sort of seen and feel that are very valid. So with that, I'll go ahead and get started. Um, Julie is going to talk, probably we're going to split it in half, so I'll introduce myself now and she'll do the same later. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Carrie Cootie. I'm a pharmacist. Um, I'm a natural health and business coach. I'm a gold leader within doTERRA, the company that we use um, for our essentials and feel that is the best company to purchase from. I'm a Christian first and foremost, and I'm a wife and a mom of two little babies. I have a one-year-old son and a four-year-old, just about to be four-year-old little girl. So very busy, but um, you know that is part of my why. So we'll talk about that in a minute as well. So in this webinar, you can expect to learn um, the reasons why we care about taking the natural way, um, reasons why you might need to care also or might want to care, why oils are a key tool in your natural life, and then basic steps to incorporating them. I feel that you know you can learn all day long, but if you don't have basic steps to incorporating them, you know you're not really going to see results that you need. So I feel like that's very key, and we'll, we'll go over some of that in, in the, later in the presentation. So what we believe. So um, you know, being healthcare professionals, we definitely believe that modern medicine is used when needed. I mean, it has a very valid place, and I feel like that's what's great is that we can use that, and even in tandem with um, natural things, they can be used together. Um, to create more of a holistic approach. And, um, and we definitely feel that modern medicine is very valid and we, um, we value it greatly. So essential oils are one of our first steps, not the last. So, you know, over the past three years, you know, before we had essential oils, you know, I was kind of always looking for that, that first step that I wanted to take. And I just never, I guess I was always looking for it, never really knowing what I was even looking for almost. So um, I, I know that now that I do have them and incorporating them in my life, it's definitely one of the things that I turn to first. And you'll find that, I know you've heard it before probably, but there is about, just about an oil for everything. So if you kind of think of these, you know, as your first step rather than your last, I, I kind of believe that um, we can take care of ourselves in a better way, you know, by doing that. And God really designed our bodies to hit themselves. You know, he gave us everything that we need. And I think that that was one of the things I love most about essential oils is that I really just thought when I first, you know, got started with them that they were just their fragrance, they smelled good, but I didn't really know exactly what they did. But once I started learning more about them, I realized that these are all God-given things. He gave us the plants and, you know, the trees and the flowers and, and all these things that we get essential oils from. And that it's just one more way that he's providing, you know, for our body to really take care of itself and just you know, through nature, using nature as, as part of that. And most people really don't know how good they can feel. And I see this every single day when I talk to people. You know, they're, they're used to feeling some ache or pain. They're used to feeling, you know, less energy. Just, they just don't really understand if they, you know, use these tools, if they start changing their diet, if they live in a different way, how good they can feel. So I, I really believe that, um, that that's a key thing, just knowing how good you can feel and, and almost using that as a as something to push you towards just changing, you know, taking some steps to change these different things in your life. 
So a little bit about my journey. Um, <clears throat> so I didn't really grow up in a natural home per se, um, but I did grow up in a home that, you know, we, we rarely ate out. We, you know, there was really a high value placed on eating foods that were prepared in the home, which I'm so grateful for. You know, I still to this day really don't eat out much because I truly believe that if to take care of my family in a way that I want to, you know, it really starts in the kitchen almost because it starts with these, you know, whole foods, organic most of the time, you know, it, that that's how I can provide the best for myself and of course then for my family and you know when I had kids I, I knew that I wanted to provide them with this but I didn't really you know I didn't know there was this whole other side of providing sort of a non-toxic environment and once I, I came more aware of this it was definitely one of my passions now you know I, I have no synthetics in my home and I'm very proud of that because I tried for a long time to to eliminate these things and really just you know, little by little, it didn't happen overnight. You know, it's just these simple steps that we can start incorporating day after day that make a huge difference. And I'm just, I'm proud to say that, you know, I don't have any synthetics in my home and it's something that I, that I value greatly now. And that I'm, I know Julie's shaking her head. She does too. So, um, you know, that's kind of how I got started, why I kind of started looking for essential oils. I was just looking for something else. I, like I said, I didn't really know what that was, but I eventually found that it was essential oils. So, um, that's kind of how I got started, but you know, I really feel like these have a place, you know, even if you don't have kids or even if you already live um, a, a fairly, I guess, natural life already, these are just something that you can add in wherever you're at. So I have a, you know, that's kind of one piece of it. And now I'll talk a little bit more about, about this, but I have a very strong passion in helping, you know, new wives or new mothers kind of you know, find their way because, you know, you want to give the best to your kids and you, you know that there's so much out there, but where do you start? So I really love helping, you know, these people that are just, they want this information, but they just don't know where to get it. So that's one of my passions as well. So I wanted to kind of pause and just take a health check in. So you, there's a lot of other things you could probably be doing right now, but you took an hour out of your day to listen to this information. So, you know, what are you looking to learn from this? You know, these are three different areas that essential oils can be very useful in, physical, spiritual, and emotional. Um, so, you know, where might you want to kind of um, improve upon? You know, it's just kind of good to know where you want to go, you know, as far as, you know, what steps you want to take to get there. It's always good to know where you're going. And really, perfection is not the goal. Pro progression is, you know, we'll never be perfect at all. And it's not about that. It's about, you know, starting where you're at and just doing little, small, simple things day in and day out. Like I said, that make a huge difference, um, you know, once you look back. So this is kind of um, getting into uh, the first kind of topic that I wanted to discuss. So where is our health care going? I feel that this is one of our greatest concerns. You know, how can we really put healthcare back in our own hands? Because, you know, viewing it from the standard American, you know, perspective, you know, all we see on TV is, um, you know, pharmaceutical ads. And, you know, we can just take this pill and feel this way. Or, you know, basically we go to the doctor and really tell them what we want now. It, it's all about, you know, us, 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 you know, just these people, they just feed all this information into us. and and that we think that's the only way. But I'm here to tell you that there is another way and it's a much better way. It's a way that's really gonna let you, your body heal and do its job that it's supposed to. So I feel like this is something that, um, you know, I really, I feel that I was able to take my own health care back into my hands and I love, you know, helping others do the same. So obviously the last point is how can we help truly take care of our bodies in a way to make them thrive. So before we go any further, please know that we are not medical doctors. Um, as natural health educators, I teach others how to enable their body to heal itself. You know, I'm in no way saying that this is a, you know, a replacement for anything. This is something that you can add to, obviously. The things that we'll discuss here are, are things that I've, we've used. You know, we can personally attest to. I'm never going to tell you something that I don't know to be personally true. Um, so you can always, you know, be guaranteed of that for sure. And we value modern medicine and its place in this world. You know, we've both been to school, learned about it. You know, we value that and we believe that it can be used together. So the business of pharmacy, this is really close to my heart. Um, 
obviously the pharmaceutical industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. And, um, you know, y'all might have heard about it. You know, we kind of got the, the essential oil um, community kind of got some uh, interest from the FDA a couple years ago because people realize that these work and they're starting to kind of redirect their spending to natural products. And the pharmaceutical industry does not like this. <laughs> you know, they want their money. And it's, it's a very lucrative business. You know, when you see people on multiple medications just because, you know, they've taken one thing and it's led to all these other things, you know, it's truly something that, you know, they've heard from somebody else, take this and you'll feel this way. They've seen it on TV. You know, they kind of feed into this and this is exactly what the pharmaceutical industry wants. Overuse is a huge problem. Um, uh, drug overdose is the fourth leading cause of death. And that is, you know, the first is probably a heart attack, stroke, something like that. So you can see what a huge problem it is. And I feel that a natural medicine is really going back to my roots. It's really where pharmacy began because, you know, thousands of years ago, um, our ancestors were using essential oils, using things that the, um, that the earth has given to us. And so, you know, I feel like the true pharmacy really started back then. So I love that I'm getting back to my roots. And true to add to this, um, you know, as to all the um, commercials on TV, I really feel like, you know, these pharmaceutical companies, they kind of conspire to make this happen. They want to um, kind of market these drugs so that healthy people need them. And I feel like they've done a really good job at that. Like I said, people know already what they want before they go see the doctor. They already know how to diagnose themselves and treat themselves. But all they're really doing is trying to just cover up the symptoms of what they have, not really truly get down to the bottom of it. So, um, you know, and these different pharmaceuticals, speaking of how they affect our body, not only do they not get to the root of the cause, they actually, you know, can deplete vitamins and minerals from our body that we have no idea that is going on, you know, vital nutrients that our body needs to function. So that's kind of a different, you know, look at it as well. Not only, you know, like I said, is it not doing what you want it to do? It's also, you know, hurting you in other ways. So this is something that obviously is a huge problem. I see it all the time when I work at the pharmacy. So, you know, I just want to scream at these people. Just, you know, give something else a try. Look at it a different way. Um, so that's, that's another one of my passions. I could go on and on, but I'll stop. <laughs> um, this is something as a mother that, um, when I started doing different researches after I had my daughter, it's really something that's quite alarming. As you can see on here, you know, the average newborn contains 287 toxins at birth and over half of those are linked directly to cancer. And this is something that is just, you know, it's a toxic environment. We really can't do much about that. But what we can do is, you know, try to just eliminate as much of that as we can, you know, with different things in our house, our cleaners, you know, the things that we bring in, personal care products, and essential oils are a huge part of that. And that's something that, you know, that I really try to strive as a mother to do is to just give the best environment to my kids that way as I can. So just starting with the fundamentals, um, you know, exercise and eating right are on the bottom and they're the biggest because you really just can't get over diet. You know, a lot of people say, well, I eat pretty good and I do this and that, but you know, is there ways that you can improve on that? You know, if you really understand, and that's just, you know, we're very passionate about that and you know, we're, we're looking to do more of, you know, things like this on that, but eating right is just so fundamental in our health. You know, I just, I can't stress enough that even if you think you eat good, I'm sure there's ways you can prove and you'll see the difference. You know, you, our body can, can't function unless we give it what it needs. It can't function the way that God intended and we can't be vibrant and have, you know, energy if we don't eat the right way. So I'll save that to another webinar, but this is very important. Um, but I feel like doTERRA and essential oils really helped me in the top um, area of the pyramid. So rest and manage stress and reduce toxic load. Um, you know, especially the rest and manage stress. I didn't really understand, you know, I wanted, I knew that that was good for me and I realized that stress is, it can be very bad for your health. But I never really knew how to do this effectively. You know, I'd try to, you know, wind down at the end of the day and go to bed on, at a certain time, but I don't really feel like until I started using essential oils that I was very good at this, to be honest. And so I feel like that has helped me a ton 
just with getting better sleep and during the day using them um, for just emotional support and, and just relaxation in general. So I feel like this is something that's very valid and it's helped me a lot. Um, and the top of the pyramid, uh, proactive med medical care and informed self-care, you know, those are things that I really didn't think much about, to be honest, before, you know, before I started using these. But it's something that, that I find most beneficial now. You know, if I look back at it, I, I just, I'm so grateful that, that I was introduced to essential oils and kind of got involved in this community that, you know, there's just so much out there. And it's just nice to have a community that you can go to to ask different questions and just get other people's opinions. And so, like I said, I feel like this is our greatest concern, how we can put our own health care back in our hands. And, and that's the top of the pyramid is kind of doing that for yourself. So which path will you choose? You know, will you choose the cure or the Band-Aid? Um, and really, like I said, using these and, you know, and implementing certain things in your life really get, get deep down and you'll see profound change. So after all that, why essential oils? So as I said, they have been used for centuries. This is really the original medicine. And one of the things that I love about essential oils is it really produces great health um, benefits, but very little side effects. And I'm all about, you know, something that's going to produce profound benefits. You know, I think that we, we see all these, there's so much out there on, you know, how to be healthy and how to do this, but does it produce effects? Does it produce change? You know, and I think that a lot of things just aren't powerful enough, just aren't strong enough. Our body doesn't know how to use them. And so that's one of the things I love about essential oils. You know, we'll talk about it. One to three drops is all you need at one time and you will see change you know, maybe not right then, depending on what you're doing with it. But, you know, over time, these can affect you at a very deep cellular level. And that's where you see the huge um, benefits and change in your health. So these are 50 to 70 times more potent than herbs. And um, if you're more familiar with herbs, that an herb isn't actually the entire plant powdered down and put in a capsule or a tea. And where that differs from essential oils is that an essential oil is Actually, you know, if you were to look at a zoomed in picture of a peppermint leaf, you know, we'll just use that as an example. There's actually oil sacs all on the um, peppermint leaf. And what they do is they steam to seal this um, and then the oil rises to the top and they skim that off. And that is what is known as the essential oil. And um, they are so much more potent than herbs. That's why, you know, just for instance, peppermint tea, you know, you might use that for some stomach upset. You would have to drink 28 cups to equal one drop of peppermint oil. So I don't really like to, you know, have to drink that much to see any result. So it's really nice to just use your peppermint and, and you know, the, the really you're feeling better within a couple minutes normally. So I love that they're that fast and effective and they are that potent. They're very easy to use. You know, like I said, in most applications, you really only need one or two drops. Um, and that makes them very affordable. You know, a 15 mil bottle has about 300 drops in it. So you can see how that can last you a good long while. Um, and with an honest brand, you really have pure plant magic. And we'll talk a little bit more why that is so important to get a, a good brand. So what are essential oils? They are natural aromatic compounds. They come from the seeds, the leaves, uh, the bark of plants. And that's why I was saying I love that, um, you know, those are all things that God gave us and that we can use them in this way to, to help, you know, prevent things in our body, to get to the root cause, to just really maintain optimal health. And there's the zoomed in picture of the peppermint leaf that I was speaking about. So how do they work? So let's go back to organic chemistry. I love organic chemistry um, when I was going through school. So really our body works on cells interacting with each other. You know, on a fundamental level, that's how our, our body functions. So I'll, really all oils are broken down into three different categories. And um, I put listed some examples of the essential oils in here. So the first one is the phenols. And these kind of clean off the receptor sites of our cells. And why that's important is, is that, like I said, all these cells communicate with each other. And if there's something on the receptor site, um, you know, such as when we eat different things that aren't good for us, you know, things get stuck in that receptor site and that cell can't do its job. And so these go in and clean off the receptor sites. The next category is sesquiterpenes. And these are sort of like the police. And what these do is they kind of go in and, um, you know, the DNA of our cell and help to um, kind of 
what's the word I'm trying to look for? <laughs> uh, clean off and kind of undo any misread reset. information. Yeah, reset. Thank you. I was <laughs> that, that word wasn't coming to me. Um, kind of reset the information of our cells so it can function properly. And then the last one is monoterpenes, and these are the ultimate doctor. So these actually, um, once all of the other things have happened, these go in and help our cells communicate better. They put more oxygen in our cells, and they really help them do their job um, better. So you can see, you know, just kind of an overview of how these, cell, these essential oils can actually affect us at such a deep level, and that's where you see profound health benefits, and, and you know, that's where you can see your health change in such a dramatic way. So how to use them? There's three different ways. Um, the first one is aromatic. And um, this, I probably use this uh, um, the most probably, other than topical. I love to run my diffuser, and that's the main way that I use them aromatically. It's just um, a little device that you fill up with water, put a few drops of oil in and turn it on. It's really that simple. And you can get essential oils um, you know, that you're breathing in up for up to eight hours at a time, which is very beneficial because if you apply essential oils topically, your body uses them up so fast that they're probably gone within 20 or 30 minutes. So it's a great way to get prolonged benefits of the essential oils, especially at night. I love to run a diffuser. Um, and these really, when you breathe in um, a, a potent essential oil such as these, it really has a profound effect on your limbic system because when we inhale the um, essential oils, they, they do work on our limbic system. And this affects, you know, our moods, our emotions. It affects even our heart rate and blood pressure. You know, that's when you get stressed. You know, sometimes your heart rate can go up and things like that. And it really can um, have a big benefit to you as far as that goes. So, you know, one way obviously is a diffuser. The other way is to just put them in your hand and simply just put them up to your nose and inhale that way. I love to do that when I don't have a diffuser and just for a quick pick me up, some peppermint to just wake me up or something like that. So that's a great way to use them. And really when we do use these aromatically, it cleanses the environment. You know, not only do they smell great, you know, I love that. I don't have to use candles or anything like that. I can use these in place of that but they really do cleanse the air. So if there's germs floating around or anything like that, it actually can capture them and just kind of, you know, get rid of them. So it's a very valid way to help, you know, illnesses, germs in the air not spread to other people. So I love to use them that way. So the next way is topical. And this is a great time to kind of talk about safety a little bit. And I think there's a slide about that, but you know, these are very potent and it's really important to use them in a safe manner. And we'll talk a little bit about what a carrier oil is, but um, it's great to use a carrier oil and kind of dilute these when you use them topically. So some great places to use them topically would be um, your feet. You have very large pores on your feet. And once they are absorbed into your skin, they go into your bloodstream and can work all throughout your body within a couple of minutes. So um, they're very fast that way. You know, I think when I first started using them, I was like, is this for real? Like I can put essential oils on the bottom of my feet and it's just gonna affect my whole body. But you know, I think until you do it, you're still a little bit skeptical and that's okay. You know, if this is the first time you're hearing this, you're probably like, eh, I don't know, but that's fine. You can just try it for yourself and, and learn that way. But they do work very, um, very fast that way. Um, other great places to put them if you're, you know, if you already have, if you don't have socks on or you don't want to get them on your feet, you can put them on your wrists, you can put them behind your ears. Those are two great places that they get absorbed pretty quickly that are easy to apply. And really, it's great for localized type things. So, you know, if you have stomach upset, if you have head tension, neck tension, you can put them right on your temples or your neck. Um, or your stomach, of course. So it's great to use them localized um, for those types of things that come up. So the last way is internal. And this is really a great way to support your body at a deeper level. And this is really specific to doTERRA. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about the grays in a minute. But um, when I'm speaking about internal and, and really any of these ways, I'm only talking about doTERRA essentials. So um, ways to take internal, you could um, put them in water and drink them. I love to drink them in my, like citrus oils in my water are really great, like lemon or, or wild orange. You get benefits of, you know, like a gentle detox from them daily, and they also taste great. So that's, that's one way I like to use them internally. But just say you had uh, some throat discomfort. You could put a little bit of the On Guard protective blend in some water and just gargle it for a minute and swallow. Um, and that's going to really help soothe and um, ease your throat discomfort because it has clove, which is numbing. 
but it's also going to, once you swallow it, it's going to help get to the root issue and, you know, hopefully help you get over your ailment, you know, sooner. You can also just put these into your tongue and you can put them in a gel cap as well. And that's just like a little empty gel capsule that you can open up and just put the oils inside and take that internally. And you don't have to taste them because some of these don't taste that great. So um, I definitely use the, the gel caps for those. So safety, as I was speaking about. Um, I do think it's very important to know this. And I always tell people, you know, just start out diluting your oils when you get started because you really don't know how these are going to affect you. If you've never used a pure plant oil, they're very potent and, you know, you never know how they're going to affect your body. So it's really important to be, you know, cautious at first and then you can kind of see how you react. So for kids, this is the dilution that I recommend, one drop um, of essential oil per one teaspoon or one tablespoon of carrier oil if they're very small infant. Um, for adults, one to two drops per one teaspoon of carrier oil. Um, you don't want to apply these to any body entry points like your ears or your nose. Um, and always wash your hands after. And really less is more. You need to apply more frequently throughout the day because like I said, your body knows what to do with these right away and so they're gonna put them to use. But that also means they're gonna burn through them quickly. You know, I think we're used to giving um, OTC things, you know, probably every four to six hours. And these you would probably need to use, especially if you had, if you felt like you were coming down with something, probably every two to four hours, just to really, you know, try to knock it out before it gets started. So I think if you get in that mindset, then um, you'll be better off. And these are, you know, they're aromatic compounds. So they're very volatile. And what that means is if you were to just drop up some essential oil into your hand, probably 80% of it is just going to evaporate in the air. So that's why it's important to dilute it and put it with a carrier oil is because it's going to weight it down. Um, essential oils are, the molecules are extremely small. And so once you put it with a higher a larger molecule um, carrier oil, such as coconut oil or olive oil, something like that, it's going to weight it down. And once you put it on your skin, it's also going to be able to be dispersed um, in a better fashion. So that's another reason to dilute. So if essential oils, so now, um, you know, I've told you kind of why to use them. So if you did use them, why would you use doTERRA? Um, I feel like there's three different, you know, reasons why it kind of sets doTERRA apart from other essential oil companies. Um, the sourcing is really big, and they take this very seriously. So if you look at the PowerPoint, you can see that um, they're sourced from all around the world. You know, you could grow most of these plants and, you know, trees or whatever you, we get these from. You could probably buy a plot of land and grow all of them in the United States. But, it, you know, when looking at very minute properties of these essential oils, that, that they can affect so many different things therapeutically and they just don't work in the same fashion. So what they do is they go basically to the ends of the earth and find where these plants and things grow just in the wild, indigenously is what it's called. And um, it really makes a huge difference because the, the rainfall is different, the climate is different, the temperature, the altitude, and all of these things matter when you're, when you're looking at such a you know, minute detail as we are with essential oils. <laughs> so that's one of the ways they kind of go above and beyond. The second way is the impact these have on the earth. And again, they take this very seriously. Um, it is said that within the next three to five years, everyone will have at least some essential oils in their home. And I truly believe that because they are so effective and people are starting to really pay attention to that. So what effect would that have on the global community? Um, it, you know, if you didn't do it in a sustainable way, it might not have a good effect on it. And what they do is they obviously go out to these remote places and they find that some of these people don't even have running water, they don't have homes, they don't have schools, and they're not getting paid a fair wage for their crop. And so, of course, they go in and obviously pay them probably more than they ever thought they would get paid for these because they do value what they do so much. But they, you know, they provided water, running water for some communities and schools and, and homes and things like that. So they're making a huge impact and it's, and it's called the co-impact um, sourcing is what doTERRA has named it. And it's, um, you know, there's all kind of videos out there that you can go watch and many of them will make you cry because it really is having a large impact on these people. And the third way that um, kind of differentiates Soterra is the testing that they do. So once these oils are harvested um, in the remote villages, they go through some tests at the actual um, distillation plant. But then once they get to doTERRA, there's more tests. And then they send them to a third party location and there's more tests. 
And then once they get back, they do more tests. So there's seven different kind of tests that go on between when they're harvested and when we actually get the bottle. So you can see they do take this very seriously as well. And just, you know, spending large amounts of money that they didn't really have to, to do all these tests. They want to make sure that there's no contaminants, that they have um, the same essential oil in a bottle two years ago that they have now. You know, they're always looking to maintain their quality standards. And, um, you know, a, a couple of our oils have been out of stock because something has been, you know, off with them when they did some of these testings and they will not sell them. You know, they'll, they'll reject it and just have to do another crop. So, you know, I, I feel really good knowing that when I purchase a bottle of essential oil from doTERRA, that it's been through all of these things and it's had such a profound effect on, you know, from growing it all the way to when I get it. So that's kind of the, some of the things that, that set doTERRA apart. So quickly about the different grades of essential oils. So the largest grade on here is synthetic and most people have this in their home already, um, like air fresheners and scented body washes and lotions and things like that. Um, you know, they've, they've taken uh, something that occurs naturally in nature, which by the way, is what they actually do with pharmaceuticals as well. They'll go out to nature and find, you know, plants or trees or whatnot that, that provide a certain effect and they'll go back in the lab and they'll remake it. So that's kind of what this is, a synthetic version. Um, then there's food grade, which is um, cinnamon flavoring and chewing gum and um, lemon and salad dressing and things like that. So these have, you know, no real benefit to us other than taste or smell. Um, then the next category is therapeutic. And this is what you would find, you know, if you were to be out and about in a store and happen to see essential oils. So like at a health food store or a lot of mainstream stores are starting to sell essential oils now. And so this would, there, this is the grade that you would find there. And um, what's different about these is that the FDA doesn't regulate any of this. Um, essential oils, just like OTCs and things like that. So, it, you know, they can put anything on their label, but, you know, does it have to be true? Not necessarily. So if they put 100% pure essential oil, it really only has to have a very small percentage of the actual pure oil in it. So it's very misleading. And that's why you can go, you know, buy a, maybe even a $5 bottle of lavender and, <clears throat> and it's bigger than the one that you can buy from doTERRA, you know. So, you know, you might, a lot of people wonder, why am I going to pay more for these oils, you know, but that's why they have, you know, very few, very little of the actual essential oil, and most of it is a carrier oil. It could probably have um, contaminants such as like chemicals and pesticides, and some of it can even contain water. So you're actually just, you know, buying mainly uh, carrier oil and water. So, you know, do you want to spend your money on that? I don't know, but it's probably not going to actually produce much of a benefit to you. That's why a lot of people use them and they're like, well, it didn't really do anything for me. But you know, what I want to tell them is what kind did you buy? You know, you got to look at that, that type of thing and, and really kind of see, you know, what you're spending your money on. So the last grade is CPTG and that stands for certified pure therapeutic grade. And this is kind of, um, you know, since there is no governing body really in essential oils, Terra really came up with their own sort of seal, you know, to put on their bottles to let, let us know that they went through all the testing, that they went out to these remote villages and found the best essential oils. And so that, that's kind of the seal of approval that they put on their bottles and the kind of the, the standard, the level that they have set for themselves. So that kind of, you know, is how these others uh, kind of are different than doTERRA. So these are some resources that I find very helpful and I think it's important to have these because you're going to learn information a day and you're going to think that was like information overload. Like especially if that's the first time you've heard this, it's just like your mind spinning. Like where, how am I going to know how to use these and, and where am I going to go if I have questions? And I always like to tell people get one of these resources because it's very beneficial when you start this journey and, you're, and you have all these questions to just go to this one source and you can look up all these things. So to just um, highlight a few of these, um, Modern Essentials is probably my favorite. It has more of the um, scientific, per se, background, um, you know, look to it. So, you, you know, it has like how the essential oils work. It also has them listed by ailment and by, um, the actual essential oil. So you can look up, you know, different things or you can look up the actual oil. So I love that one. Um, the Essential Life is another book. 
um, that you can purchase. And it has a lot of um, like do it yourself recipes. It has a lot of like cooking recipes that you can use the oils in. So it's more of like a lifestyle book, I would say. And then the last is down here is aromaticscience.com. And it is something that is a website that the chief medical officer put together from doTERRA. His name is Dr. Hill. And it has, um, you could, you know, click on the different oil, single oil like lemon, and you, it pulls up all of the scientific studies that have been done on it. Now, I won't say all, but a lot of them. But it's a really neat, you know, thing to go to to kind of get more of the scientific aspect of it. So those are three of my favorite resources. And so now we're going to talk a little bit more about the actual essential oils. And we're going to go over the 10 most popular. And I'm going to turn it over to Julie to kind of do the second half. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see me. I'll put that a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So before I get started going through each oil, um, I thought I would just, for those of you who don't know me, just tell you a little bit about myself. Um, so again, my name is Julie. I am a nurse practitioner. Um, I work with a cardiology practice. Um, and I also hold a faculty position at Emory University and teach in the nurse practitioner program there. I've been doing that for about 13 years. Um, I was introduced to essential oils about three years ago by Carrie. Uh, she happened to be at my house one day and I was having some stomach issues and she gave me a bottle of Digestin, which is doTERRA's um, digestive blend. And I'll talk a little bit about that in a few minutes. Uh, and she said, rub this on your stomach and see if it helps. So, you know, of course, maybe like some of you, I was very skeptical. I thought this is kind of strange, but she and I are very like-minded and very much into health and wellness. And so I thought, okay, I'm willing to try it. So I tried it and it worked. Um, at that point, I was I would say still a little bit skeptical, uh, but you know, I wanted to, to try and incorporate these because like Carrie, I kind of felt like maybe there was this missing link. You know, I certainly feel like there is a place for modern medicine. That's what she and I have both, you know, built our careers on. And I think that there always will be, but if we can use more natural approaches and maybe go to those first and avoid, you know, some of the side effects of modern medicine, then that would be ideal. So I was certainly willing to try it. So I got a kit and really just started using them for everything that I could think of or that came up just to really test it out and see if they worked and you know was surprised time and time again and there's really <coughs> been no turning back since then. Um, I love the fact that I, I first of all have um, twins, they're nine now, and I love the fact that now if they are sick or have you know some type of cut or anything like that, they ask me, what oil can I use, mom? What do I go get? And they know how to apply them themselves. So that to me, that makes me feel good as a mom. And I think that that's what Carrie and I, you know, want to relay um, to you guys is that, you know, we want you to be empowered and be able to take your health and your family's health into your own hands. Um, so um, that's a little bit about me. And First, I want to talk about, we'll go through each oil. Um, so peppermint, peppermint is really an oil that <coughs> everybody should have on hand. I mean, peppermint is wonderful for opening up the airways. It's very, um, first of all, it's very potent. Um, as Carrie mentioned, it takes 28 cups of peppermint tea to equal one drop of doTERRA's um, peppermint oil. So it's very, very potent. Um, so opening up the airways, if you feel like, you know, you're a little bit congested, um, you can place a drop in your hand and you know, breathe it in. You could diffuse it. That's another great, great way um, to use peppermint. It's very just uplifting. Um, it wakes you up. It helps with memory retention. So there have been studies done where um, that has looked at uh, memory retention. If you were, say, studying for a test and you diffused peppermint oil while you were studying, that helps with memory retention. Um, one of the nurse practitioners that I work with, at, she uses um, – doTERRA oils as well. And after lunch every day, you know how you kind of sometimes get that little, you know, slump, like, you know, your body's trying to digest all this food you just put in it and you're just kind of, you know, feeling sluggish. She um, uses peppermint oil and rubs it on the back of her neck and I get the benefit of it because I'm sitting right beside her and, you know, I get the mm -hmm. aromatic benefit. So, I um, mean, it does, it really just kind of wakes you up. Um, it's used, you can use it, um, in toothpaste. You can make your own toothpaste. Um, 
It's also really good um, to rinse out your mouth with, just to make a, a mouthwash with. Um, it helps to bring down body temperature. So if you have elevated temperature or one of your children do, it's great to place on the bottom of the feet. Like Carrie said, you may um, find that, or you will find that you have to apply it more frequently than say if you were using you know, something like say Tylenol. Um, that kind of you know, has synthetics in it, it hangs around in the body um, for a longer period of time. So whereas you may take Tylenol every you know, four to six hours, uh, peppermint oil you would need to apply say maybe every 30 minutes to an hour until the body temperature was reduced um, so our bodies are able to use these oils more readily and then get rid of them. So that's why we have to sort of use them uh, more, red, more frequently. Peppermint's also considered a driving oil. So sometimes people will ask, um, you know, do, do you find it important to layer oils? Like say you're going to put some oils on the bottom of your feet and you're going to use a couple of different ones. Should you layer them? Um, Layering is really probably most important if you're going to use peppermint because you want to put the peppermint on at the end or or the last oil because it helps to drive other oils in. So it's considered a driving oil. Um, peppermint's very good for digestive health. So you know anything um, upset stomach, peppermint is in um, DoTerra's digestive blend, which again I'll talk about in a few minutes. Um, you can also bake with it. I mean, you know, make cookies or brownies or, or what have you, um, and put some peppermint um, in it. Um, head tension, I was trying to think of what else I use peppermint for, head tension. So if you have any kind of head tension, placing a drop on the temples, across the forehead, and then maybe even on the back of the neck uh, really helps with that. You do wanna make sure that you don't get it close to your eyes. Like Carrie said, um, the oils are very volatile and the, the actual um, small <laughs> particles and the fumes you know, can irritate your eyes a little bit if you get it too close. So you do wanna make sure that you kinda of stay back by the hairline. Okay, lavender, um, lavender's next. So we probably are all familiar with lavender for its kind of calming and relaxing properties. You know, there's tons of different products out there, especially for babies, like lavender um, body washes and, you know, nighttime I washes. I wish I could smell and, this. I know. It's so much yeah. better than that. <laughs> this, yes, doTERRA's lavender smells totally different than those synthetic lavenders. So that's what most of those products are. It's not actually real lavender. It's actually a synthetic version that they've taken, you know, gone into a lab and created. So it does smell quite different. Um, lavender essential oil is very strong, very potent, um, and just smells a lot better, really. Um, so it's used for um, rest, for relaxation. Um, I like to put a drop of it in my palm at night, rub it on the back of my neck, because that way I get the topical benefit, but I also get the aromatic benefit. Um, you could put it in a diffuser on your um, bedside table. Some people will even put it in a spray bottle with water and spray it on their pillow at night. Um, that's another way uh, to use it. It's really good for um, soothing skin irritations. So anything like cuts, insect bites, um, scrapes, anything like that, lavender is very soothing. Um, in fact, I keep a roller bottle of lavender um, in my purse. Uh, my kids play ball, softball and baseball. And anytime we're at the ball field, there's always, you know, some child that gets, you know, some kind of scrape or something. And it's so funny because they always look, every time it happens, no matter what the, the problem is, they look at me, everybody looks at me and goes, do you have some kind of one of those oils for that? And I'm like, well, of course I do. So, you know, then I have to pull up my little, my little um, bag that has everything in it. Your witch doctor so, bag. <laughs> yeah, I know people call it all kinds of crazy stuff, but, but hey, it works. Yeah. And so, you know, um, so for any kind of, like I said, skin irritation, um, it helps the skin recover really quickly. So again, burns, even things like sunburn, um, lavender would be great for. Um, it eases muscle tension. So, you know, if you've got some tension in your neck, you could use uh, one or two drops of lavender oil with um, a teaspoon of coconut oil, rub it into the muscles on your neck, and that helps to ease tension. 
Lavender is also good for seasonal threats. So there is a blend of oils that we use for seasonal threats, you know, when the pollen's out or, um, you know, other, other things outside that, you know, cause us to sneeze and, you know, have headaches and all that. Um, lavender, peppermint, and lemon are um, considered sort of the seasonal blend. And doTERRA actually makes those in a capsule now called Tri-Ease, just for a little bit, you know, easier if you didn't want to apply it topically just to take it internally um, and I'll even give that to my kids again they're nine and they can you know swallow pills so they're okay taking um, taking that internally as well let's see so lemon lemon is next um, lemon is probably one of my favorites it's one of the most inexpensive essential oils um, wholesale uh, lemon a 15 ml bottle is ten dollars so I, you know that's very affordable and like Carrie said you know the 15 ml bottles will last um, a pretty good while now I do go through quite a bit of lemon I order one every month because I use it for um, drinking in my water every day it's really good for detoxification you know, all of these um, things that we eat and toxins that we're exposed to on a daily basis, they sort of get in our body and our body does not know what to do with them. You know, if you ever look at the label on some food that you're eating, you know, say you have cereal and you look at the label on the box, a lot of times half the ingredients you can't even pronounce. Well, your body does not know how to recognize those. So when you, those ingredients are put into your body, it actually creates, your body creates this fat capsule around these toxins and stores them. So that's why, you know, detoxing is very important to help our body get rid of the toxins. And lemon essential oil is one of the best oils for detoxification. So drinking lemon in your water every day will help with that. Um, you always want to make sure that when you're consuming these internally, that you're drinking them out of either glass or stainless steel. If you drink them out of plastic or um, styrofoam, they will pull the, the chemicals out of the plastic and actually will eat through the styrofoam. So don't do that because you're, then you're getting more toxins in your body, <laughs> which is not the goal. So just make sure that, you know, glass or stainless steel. Um, I clean with lemon, like Carrie said, um, you know, I've, we've, I think both really worked hard and it's, it's a process. It's not, you know, it's not to make anybody feel bad who, you know, uses, um, chemical cleaners because I've certainly used plenty of those, you know, in my life. Um, but just, it's been a process of, you know, trying to eliminate those. And I find that lemon is a really good oil to help do that. So, you know, I make cleaners, um, bathroom cleaners, kitchen counter cleaners, um, with lemon. Lemon's really good to clean glass. So just, you know, a cup of vinegar, a cup of water, 10 drops of lemon oil and that's a great glass cleaner or any really any surface cleaner um, so you can see you know using them in that way I, I go through a lot of, of lemon mm -hmm. so anyway I order it every month um, it's in the seasonal blend again it's very good for seasonal <coughs> so again lemon lavender and peppermint um, you can also kind of think of it as like a natural um, you know, that the goo gone stuff that gets um, sticky off of, you know, if you say buy a picture frame and you peel the sticker off and it's still stuck on the glass, if you put a drop or two of lemon oil, it will come up very easily. So it's a good degreaser. Um, it gets rid of sticky residue. Um, anything else you can think of? I covered it all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Melaleuca. So Melaleuca. I love because this was actually the, one of the first oils that I ever used, not with doTERRA, but um, a long time ago, somebody told me to put uh, melaleuca or tea tree oil is the other name for that um, on my face to help with any kind of breakouts or anything like that. And I do remember or recall that when I used it, it didn't really work that well. But now that I have this, you know, 100% pure um, essential oil, now with doTERRA, it works wonderfully. So that just kind of goes back even years ago to show me what the differences are in, in doTERRA's products and other you know, essential oils that you might buy at the store. Melaleuca has really um, high <coughs> antimicrobial properties. So, you know, it's antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal. So anytime you feel like, you know, you've got, say, a cold or illness coming on, Melaleuca is a great one to use. So it just really helps support a healthy um, immune system.
Um, also, um, it's really good for um, if you have a cut or a scrape, you know, applying with the lavender, applying Melaleuca because again, it has those antiseptic properties. Clean with Melaleuca a lot, mix it with the lemon, like I mentioned. Um, so that makes a really good your lunch, okay? Um, okay, oregano is next. So oregano is really, really strong. And you may have heard people talk about hot oils before that absolutely must be diluted if you apply them topically, even if you don't have active skin. Oregano would be one of those oils that's considered a hot oil um, because if you place it on your skin, it will cause some irritation if you don't dilute it. Now that can be beneficial if you are trying to use it um, on something like warts or yes. skin tags to, you know, help get rid of those, then in those instances, then you uh, may apply oregano directly to the skin, but you wouldn't want to get it on any really good healthy skin because again, it's going to, it's going to really irritate the skin. So oregano like Melaleuca has antibacterial um, and antiviral properties. So any signs of illness, colds, I always use oregano as well. Um, it's helped support a good um, immune function um, and it's just a really good overall natural defense um, to have, you know, kind of in your medicine cabinet. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, frankincense. So most everybody, if they don't know anything about essential oils, has heard of frankincense, um, you know, through the birth of Jesus. Um, and the wise men giving frankincense, myrrh, and gold um, to him. And that's because, you know, these essential oils were valued um, as high as gold in those days. Um, frankincense was used um, on at, at birth um, on either or both the mother and the child, one or the other or both, especially for traumatic births. Uh, it's very anti-inflammatory. So it helps, you know, um, with decreasing overall inflammation. It oh, also yeah. is very good for the skin. Mm -hmm. so frankincense is one that's used in a lot of doTERRA's products, especially in their facial products. So they have a whole line of, um, you know, facial cleansers and moisturizers and frankincense is always in those products because it's so good for fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it's really also good for just overall immune support and health cellular health. So you'll find that a lot of people will place one or two drops under the tongue every day just for, again, overall um, cellular health and immune support. And frankincense sometimes is termed the king of oils. So if you don't know what to use, that what we always say is use frankincense. So if you've tried an essential oil for some type of ailment and you feel like it, you know, it's not really taking care of it, then a go-to is always frankincense. Uh, breathe is one of doTERRA's blend of oils. Uh, breathe is for respiratory support. I love to use breathe, especially if I am congested or if uh, my kids are congested, place a few drops, three or four drops in the diffuser on the bedside table and let that diffuse overnight. Really helps to break up congestion. You can also dilute it in um, a carrier oil and place it on the chest, the front of the chest, the back of the chest. It really helps to open up the airways. If you know if you know of someone who has um, any breathing issues, um, you know, like asthma or COPD, things like that, to help open up the airways, um, they can place a drop in their hand and just breathe in. Or some people yeah. will even sort of make their own inhaler <laughs> and breathe in. Um, so that breathe works really well for that. It's also good for snoring. Um, if you place it on the big toe, that's actually based on reflexology. You can use it that way um, and it helps to reduce that. Digestin is the next oil. Uh, that's the one that I mentioned earlier. That's the digestive blend that was my first experience with using the oils. It again is a blend of oils that helps with any kind of um, digestive issue. So the nice thing is no matter what digestive problem you're having, these oils are so good at kind of going in and determining what is off balance in our body and bringing our body back to balance or homeostasis. <coughs> that 
that's the term for balance. And so that's, that's what's so unique about these is that they bring our body back into balance and help our body to heal itself, which is what, you know, God designed our bodies to do anyway. And our bodies are very capable of that. If we give it the right, if we give our bodies the right support, they can heal themselves. So um, digestion is really, again, any digestive issue at all. Um, and it comes in a gel cap as well. So um, if it was something that you had a digestive problem that you needed to take it on a daily basis, then um, the gel cap would be something that would be good for you to use. Time kiss. Um, on guard, I think Carrie mentioned this so earlier. So on guard is considered uh, doTERRA's protective blend. On guard, um, there's actually lots of studies out there that look at using on guard in killing uh, bacteria. Um, there's actually some studies on MRSA you, um, that you know on guard has been shown to kill MRSA. So that's you know that's pretty powerful right there. Um, just saying that um, it will um, you know helps to get rid of airborne pathogens. So I like to. <laughs> Um, in my main area, like in my kitchen, on my kitchen island, I will diffuse on guard. Um, I clean countertops with it. Um, I use it in a hand spray and use that instead of, you know, with um, those um, alcohol based hand sanitizers. You can um, just use on guard and say witch hazel or even water in a little um, sprayer bottle. Make your own hand sanitizer. I put those in the kids lunch box so that you know then when they open up their lunch then they clean their hands right away before they eat. Um, so on guard is also really good at not only being antimicrobial, antiviral, but it also is good for immune support. So it increases the immune system. If you've not smelt this before, it's one of my favorite smelling oils. I mean, it is, it's kind of smells like Christmas. It has cinnamon and clove and wild orange in it. Um, it tastes really good too. They make throat lozenges with On Guard that I use every day. Um, but if you have any kind of, um, you know, throat discomfort, um, Carrie mentioned gargling with On Guard. It's really good for numbing the throat because it has clove in it. And that's just kind of an overall good uh, for immune support as well. Deep Blue. Deep Blue is another one that I use on a daily basis. I love Deep Blue. It is very good for soothing, aching muscles and joints. I tend to use Deep Blue <laughs> before I exercise. It, again, it helps to really loosen up the muscles. Um, I have some back problems, so I'll use it on my back. And, you know, it has kind of that... Um, hot cold effect or, or cool effect so you know when you exercise then you know it starts starts to heat up on your muscles and so it, it actually feels really good when you're when you're exercising but if you have you know some type of joint discomfort or just muscle discomfort in general massaging deep blue into that is just wonderful um, I know a lot of people who really this is the first oil that they tried and are just completely sold by just using deep blue it's really good so those are kind of the top 10, um, what we kind of consider basic oils that are really good to kind of just have, you know, in your medicine cabinet to use whenever anything arises. Um, I want to just mention now um, one of doTERRA's products that's actually their best selling product. Um, believe it or not, an oil is not their best selling product. Um, these vitamins are their best selling product, which is really kind of interesting if you think about it. Now these oil, these uh, vitamins do have oils in them, and I'm going to go through each one and kind of tell you what makes these a little bit unique. So you kind of see in the center of the screen, um, first the um, Microplex EM. So that's basically um, your vitamins, minerals, 12 servings of fruits and vegetables. So you know, no matter how healthy we eat or how good our diet is, we really now the condition of soil and the way that our food is, is sourced and processed, we really don't get the, the vital nutrients that our body needs. And the nice thing about doTERRA's vitamins are they're all very bioavailable, which means that our body can use them readily just as it's supposed to. So they're all, you know, natural food and nutrient complexes versus something that you would get for, um, a, say, a multivitamin that has synthetics in it. That's, you know, not what we need because our body does not know how to process and recognize those. And honestly, most of those, we don't even get 
you know, the absorption of the vitamins anyway, it's lost in our urine because it just isn't absorbed by the body. Our body doesn't know what to do with it. Um, the next part of these, um, this nutrient complex is the um, omega-3 fatty acids. So um, the omega-3, 6s, and 9s, we've all heard that, probably many of you probably already take omegas. Um, they're so good for brain health and heart health. They're really probably the two biggest things with omega-3s. Everybody really needs to be taking omega-3s every day. And this gives you that. So, you know, that's another thing that kind of, if you were on that supplement, that could be eliminated through, through taking these. Now, what really, I think, sets, you know, not only what I mentioned, but what really sets this apart from other, you know, vitamins and supplements out there is this alpha CRS. So the alpha CRS is really, think of it like um, a, a, um, uh, I don't want to say pill, I want to say <laughs> supplement, thank you, <laughs> like, I don't know. for cellular health. So that's what the alpha CRS is for, is for cellular health. So it helps give our cells, you know, the nutrients that it needs. It helps with energy. Uh, it helps to decrease inflammation. So one of the, the very neat things about doTERRA is they will allow you to try these vitamins for 30 days. And, and if you do not have less pain, and or more energy, then they give you your money back. So it's like a free trial. Try it for 30 days. If you don't have more energy or less pain, you get your money back. Um, I honestly don't know of anybody who has ever sent these back. I mean, they are really phenomenal. And really, you know, we should certainly have all of these oils and use them, you know, have them kind of in our arsenal. But if we want overall health, this is really where it starts. You know, not only eating properly, but taking the proper supplements, you know, and getting that, that piece of the puzzle taken care of right away. So, um, you know, using these every day, I know Carrie and I have both seen really <clears throat> increase in energy. Um, I can certainly tell when I don't take these, you know, I don't have as much energy when I don't take these. So really consider incorporating these uh, into your life. I think that you will really be surprised at, at how much they help. Um, okay, so what can you do as sort of simple next steps? Well, we talked about, you know, our food sources and, you know, choosing organic whole foods as much as possible. If you, you know, and I know some people say, well, you know, organic, you know, can be expensive, which I agree. Some things, you know, certainly can be. And, it, you know, organic is, does not always have to be the first choice with everything. In fact, if you, um, if you just Google um, the clean 15, 30 dozen, that gives you a list of produce that's on, so it's the 12 um, produce items that have the most chemicals and pesticides that really we should always buy organic if we can. So things like strawberries, apples, you, you can look at the list. Um, and then the Clean 15 is another 15 produce items that you're probably okay, probably have less pesticides generally on them, that you're probably okay getting non-organic. So that might be something you want to check out. I keep a list on my phone. I just took a screenshot of it, keep it on my phone. When I go to the grocery store, if I can't remember, then I'll look that up and, and you know, decide, do I want to buy this organic or not? Um, but that's a good, you know, if you're, if, if you're not doing that right now, that's a good kind of first step to start. And then having these essential oils at your fingertips, again, so that anytime, you know, you have some type of ailment or your family does, use this as a first go-to, you know, versus always going to modern medicine. Again, that may be something that you, you end up going to, but try to use these and incorporate these first. Um, commit to being your own health advocate for you, for your children, for your spouse or your loved ones. Um, you know, and that's kind of what I think we hope to empower you to do is really just be your own health advocate. Surround yourself with other people who are like-minded. I mean, just being on this, on this webinar today, you know, you're with like-minded people who want to be their own, you know, wellness and health advocate. Um, so I think that, that that's really important, being on as many of these, you know, webinars and educating yourself as much as possible. Um, were you going to start here or was I? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So okay, Carrie, gonna, after we've okay. gone over all this information, it's kind of like, okay, what do I do now? So obviously this was just purely informational. You know, a lot of, a lot of people on here already have essential oils and they're just trying to learn more. But you know, if you haven't, these are some steps that you could take to, you know, join our wellness team because, you know, I think it really is important who you kind of um, obviously surround yourself with, but what team you're on, you know, what kind of support are you going to get? What kind of, 
you know, um, classes you're going to be able to attend or, or things like this. So I think that's really important. We try to offer these, you know, as much as we can and just really pour into our team and then offer information to help, you know, just you learn more and learn different ways of doing things. So, so join our team, pick the perfect starter kit. You know, a lot of people, um, love to get started with a kit because it gives you, the, you know, a, a broader range of oils to get started with. You know, obviously we went over the top 10 and I'll go um, talk about one of the, my favorite enrollment kits that has those essential oils in it. But, um, you know, pick whatever you're going to start with. Um, all the starter kits, um, I'll, I'll talk about a little bit about that in a minute. Um, once you do um, get the membership with doTERRA, access to a rewards program that you can earn free product. That's really important if you're going to be purchasing on a monthly basis. Obviously, if you're going to you know, implement these into your life, you are going to need to you know, replenish them. So that's the smartest way to buy. And I've got another slide that talks a little bit more about that. And be a part of a team that, that provides you, know, you good support. Use your fork. So this is, um, I'm going to highlight two of my favorite kits. Um, the first one is the Home Essentials Kit. And um, on the other slide, I'll, I'll back up for just a second, excuse me. So when you join doTERRA with a membership, it's $35 a year, and you get 25% off the retail value. Now, you can either purchase an enrollment kit, which we'll talk about, or you can just pay that $35 and add whatever essential oils you want onto it. So you can do it either way. A lot of people love to start with the kits because um, the, the membership fee is included in that price and it's just kind of a one-stop thing. You can just get you know, the, the basic oils, you can get a diffuser with this one. It's just a really easy way to get started. So um, talking about the kits, this is one of my favorite ones. Obviously it includes all the oils that we talked about and these are still ones that I use on a daily basis, almost, you know, most of these. So these are, you know, something that are, are very basic oils that everybody should have, in my opinion. Um, and a diffuser, you know, is something that all the kits don't come with, but this one in particular does. And these are the larger bottles as well. These are the 15 mil bottles versus the 5 ml bottles that some of the other kits start with. So that's kind of the differences in this kit and why I like it. This is the other kit that I would recommend. Um, it's kind of a larger kit. So if you, you know, some people like to start out smaller, some people like to start out, you know, with more, but this kind of gives you some of the other products that they offer just to kind of start implementing them into your whole life. You know, the hand wash, the, um, the a bigger diffuser that runs longer, you have a wooden box, you have oils that help with, you know, some emotional benefits and hormonal things. So this is a great one to get different things to start with. This is a little bit more about the, the monthly loyalty rewards order. So this is optional with your membership. You know, to get your membership, you just pay the fee and that's for all year long. There's no monthly ordering um, that you have to do to keep your membership. This is optional that you can opt into and it's a monthly ordering system that um, provides you points back for the things that you purchase and which is it's basically a no brainer if you're gonna continue to purchase product. It's definitely the smartest way to do that. And I can, you know, we can go a little bit more over that if anybody has any questions about it. But these are some of my um, top picks to add to that. You know, if you get a basic kit, these are some of my other favorite oils to use. Um, grapefruit, in tune, wild orange and balance are something, uh, one of the ones that I use every day. Some of the products, I use the On Guard Cleaning Concentrate. You can clean your whole house with it. It costs about $13 and you can make 12 all-purpose cleaners with it. So it's very inexpensive and it gives you kind of a natural way to clean your home. Um, the Lifelong Vitality Pack, we talked about that. The Virage Skin System, it's like the most awesome skincare system you can get. You know, it's all plant-based. I mean, I feel like it's made a huge difference in my skin and um, I've, I've heard a lot of good reviews yeah, from everybody else. Mm -hmm. um, the Shampoo and Conditioner are awesome too. So these are all kind of, kind of like replacing what you would normally get at the store with these products because they're going to be just better in general for you. They're going to contain essential oils and just be a better base of ingredients as well. So um, if you do decide to um, join our team today, you will get private access to a Facebook page, which will provide you with a lot of support. You can ask questions there. You can look at what other people ask and just learn from that. Um, plus that should say us plus some goodies from us you know I know we talked about the resources we feel very passionate about everybody should have a modern essentials book so you will get a modern essentials book if you do enroll today with one of the kits um, you can get three samples of things that aren't in your kit that you can try I love to try new things kind of before I buy them so that's a good way to do that 
and you'll get a, um, a kind of, we call it a wellness consult. It just kind of goes over what the benefits of your enrollment membership is and just how to use the oils that you have and just some different, you know, health things that you're trying to address. So you'll get a 30 minute talk with um, whoever your enroller is. And I can't go this whole webinar without mentioning this because this is the other piece that has, you know, when I talked about my story, I wanted to say this to the end because this, you know, the oils have changed my life in one way, but the whole aspect of earning commission has changed my life in a whole other way. You know, if somebody hadn't have told me about this, I would still be sitting at the pharmacy nine to five and never get to see my kids. And that is a true story. So, uh, you know, I was able to quit my full-time pharmacy job and really get to be with you guys on a random Wednesday at one. Mm -hmm. And I get to be with my no. sister <laughs> and we're having fun. How <laughs> awesome is that? You know, and it just really fell on my lap. This is not something that I went out and searched for. You know what? It's something God gave to me. And so I'm so thankful. You know, I just want you to know that that's an option. If, if it interests you at all, we'd love to talk to you more about it. So um, after all that, you know, we'd love to talk to you. If you have any questions, if you, you know, obviously our, our pages are down there. If you want to go ahead and enroll, a lot of people, you know, we like to talk to people before they do, just so we can answer any questions and just, we can even put all the information in there for you. So this is just our contact information, you know, if you have any questions or, or want to go ahead and enroll. And we'll be available a little bit on this webinar. I won't close it out right away, but, you know, phone or text or Facebook or whatever um, will be available that way too. And we're, I'll leave that up for just a minute. If I can go back. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, well, I can't go back. Sorry. Um, so thank you all for joining us. Yes, I, I really fun. hope that you learned a lot and just, you know, or at least if you've already been using oils, even if you were able to learn a, a few different things and, and I'll, I'll stop the screen share. And um, we'll just be on here. There's a chat feature down at the bottom. If you guys wanted to ask any questions and, um, if you want to hop off, that's fine too. But we are, we're just glad you joined us today. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Yeah. yeah Very fun. informative. Sure. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank y'all very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Maybe it gave you a break from studying. <laughs> it was a fantastic break from studying. <laughs> Good. Good. <laughs> that's yeah, great. I hear you. <laughs> Actually, I have a little tummy upset, so I'm going to go grab some peppermint. Yeah, you want to go grab some peppermint? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, bye, ladies. Okay, bye. bye. I'll talk to you soon, Donna. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bailey. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> That's another Holly. Yes, you're by out. Oh.